Yo, what is happening folks and welcome to yet another tutorial with myself Howie Combrink and the HitLab Academy for YouTube. In today's tutorial we are going to be speaking about mid-side EQ. So let's get into it. Mid-side EQ is a very interesting technique when you want to apply an equalizer to either the center of your mix or to the sides of your mix. And I find it is a really good way to sort of remove a bit of mud around the lead vocal area, which lies right in the center, uh, along with kick, bass, and snares. But then you've got stereo imaged instruments such as a synthesizer or a horn section that sit on the very wide sides of the mix. And in, in today's case, we're gonna be looking at a song called The City, which is a song by myself, Howie Combrink, and it is available on all your various streaming platforms. So what we're gonna be looking at today is creating a bit of space for the lead vocal within the horn section. I've got a horn section that's busy playing through the song, and I just, I just feel that the horns are taking a little bit of space and they're cluttering things up a bit in the middle of the mix. So I'm gonna basically apply some mid side to the sides of the horn folder, the horn bus, and that is gonna open up the center of the mix. But let's get into a track and see what we're working with over here. Right, so this is the track we've got. I'm gonna play you the chorus so you can have a listen to what I'm talking about. We've got a horn section uh, with a lead vocal and they're both really dominant instruments. So I'm gonna try and create a little bit of space for the lead vocal by mid-side EQing the horn section. Let's have a listen to the chorus as it is without mid-side EQ. We'll shake it through the night Hold on, hold on We're gonna hit you right All night alone Just the city in you and I Hold on, hold on We're gonna hit you right All night Alright, so we've got a horn folder over here called Live Horns. These horns were played by a really good friend of mine called Neil Engel. He's a fantastic horn player. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head on over to the horn bus if I open that bus up, you can see there's various uh, individual tracks that have been played and I've basically just bussed them together over there and that is their bus on the left side there. The first thing I'm going to do is head on over to Waves and I'm gonna select the Waves F6 plugin. This is a mid-side EQ. So, what we're gonna do is, in the event of a lead vocal, the pronunciation of a lead vocal lies within the 2K to 4K range. It is where all your words are pronounced really nicely and the clarity of the voice really shines. So what I'm gonna do over here is I've got my fifth band selected and I'm gonna head on over there and I'm gonna select the middle of the mix. That is now allowing me to EQ only the center part of the mix. And what I wanna do on these horns is I wanna reduce around the two to 4K range. I wanna reduce by six dB, just like that. So now it is out of the way of the lead vocal, but, at the moment, you would hear that the horns have lost a little bit of clarity and a little bit of shine. So in order to repair that clarity and that shine, we're gonna select the sixth band over there and we're gonna select the sides only. And I'm going to basically repair that EQ and take it back to where it was originally, but now only on the sides of the mix. So the center of the mix, we have reduced two to 4K in the horn section, but on the sides of the mix, we have boosted that back up by six dB. So let's have a listen to the mix and hear what that actually sounds like. And if I bypass the, the equalizer and then reactivate it, you'll hear the difference, especially if you are wearing a set of headphones. So let's have a listen to that. And we'll shake it through the night. Hold on, hold on. All right, now if I bypass the EQ, you're gonna hear it slightly a little bit more muddy in the center around the vocal. So let's bypass that. So off the bat there, you can hear it's actually fighting a little bit with that lead vocal. So I'm gonna reactivate the EQ and we're gonna have one last listen. And we'll shake it through the night. Hold on. And 
And that right there is mid-side EQ. You can apply that technique to several different instruments and sounds within your mix. And you can also use it if you are mastering a track. Uh, if you want your bass to pump a little bit more in the center of the mix and you want your synthesizers to shine on the sides, you can apply these same techniques for almost anything. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for sticking around and checking out this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please head on over to our YouTube channel and subscribe, ring the little bell button, and leave us a comment below for the algorithm. And if you want to find out more about how you can work with us here at The Hit Lab, please go and visit www.thehitlab.co.za, but the link will be provided in the description below. Have a fantastic week, folks, and I'll see you next time. Peace.